The F-35B Lightning II is a variant of the F-35 family of fighter aircraft designed for short takeoff and vertical landing STOVL. This variant was developed specifically to operate from aircraft carriers or amphibious assault ships, which often have shorter decks than conventional aircraft carriers. The process of loading and operating the F-35B weapons on an aircraft carrier involves several very specific and well-coordinated steps. The process of loading weapons on an F-35B on an aircraft carrier begins with preparation on the hangar deck or flight deck. The weapons and ammunition to be used, such as AIM-120 AMRAAM air-to-air -air missiles, smart bombs such as GBU-32 JGAM, or other weapons, are prepared in the weapons storage area on the ship. The weapons team ensures that all weapons are ready to use and adhere to strict safety procedures. The weapons are then transported using an ammunition lift from the lower deck to the flight deck. This process must be carried out carefully to avoid the risk of accidents in a confined and dynamic environment. Once the weapons are on the flight deck, weapons technicians move them near the F-35B being prepared. The weapons are mounted on the aircraft's internal or external hardpoints. This installation is done with special tools and requires great precision to ensure the weapons are properly installed. Before the aircraft is ready for takeoff, technicians and flight crews perform a final check of all weapon systems to ensure they are functioning properly. The aircraft's weapons control systems are also tested to ensure proper integration between the weapons and the aircraft. Once the weapons are installed, the F-35B is ready to conduct carrier flight operations. The F-35B fighter uses STOVL mode to take off from the confined deck of an aircraft carrier. The turboshaft lift fans are activated to provide additional lift, while the main engine nozzles are pointed downward to create vertical thrust. With this combination, the F-35B can take off in very short distances, even from ships with smaller decks, such as amphibious assault ships. After takeoff, the F-35B can perform a variety of air missions, including air-to-ground strikes, air defense, and reconnaissance. Its stealth and advanced sensors allow it to penetrate enemy territory and strike targets with high precision. Upon returning to the ship, the F-35B uses its vertical landing capability to land on decks in limited space. The aircraft can hover above the deck before landing safely, even in rough seas. After landing, the F-35B is moved to the hangar deck for maintenance and preparation for its next flight. Maintenance crews conduct thorough inspections to ensure the aircraft is in top condition before returning to service. The F-35B offers tremendous operational flexibility for navies and Marine Corps operating it from aircraft carriers or amphibious assault ships. 
It allows smaller ships, such as amphibious assault ships, to function as light aircraft carriers, enhancing power projection and air capabilities around the world. With the ability to operate from shorter deck carriers, the F-35B plays a critical role in modern military strategy, providing significant firepower with high flexibility. How Vertical Landing Works on the F-35B The F-35B is equipped with a lift fan mounted in the center of the fuselage, behind the cockpit. The lift fan is activated during a vertical landing, providing vertical lift that helps the aircraft hover and land vertically. The F-135 engine on the F-35B has a rear nozzle that can rotate up to 90 degrees downward directing the engine's thrust downward to support a vertical landing. A sophisticated flight control system helps the pilot manage the transition from horizontal flight to a vertical landing smoothly. The system automatically adjusts the aircraft's speed, thrust, and attitude to ensure a stable and safe landing. As the F-35B approaches the landing site, it will slow down and activate the lift fan and direct the rear nozzle to the vertical position. The aircraft will hover a few meters above the surface, maintaining its position with a combination of the lift fan and nozzle thrust. Once stable over the landing point, the pilot slowly lowers the aircraft until the landing gear gently touches the surface. The lift fan and rear nozzles will gradually reduce thrust until the aircraft comes to a complete stop. Vertical landings allow the F-35B to land in locations that are inaccessible to conventional fighter aircraft, such as amphibious assault ship decks, short runways, and even areas that are not yet equipped with full landing facilities. This capability is critical in combat scenarios where runway infrastructure may be damaged or unavailable providing a strategic advantage in military operations.